bias modification, which protects the 80 volt winding if there were a grid to cathode short. Put the padding caps back in, straps installed, like you saw in the last portion of this video. I'll flip it over and show the top. I have to put the top cover, uh, I'm sorry, the bottom cover back on. I'll install the tubes, get all that set, and then I'll tape it real quick. Um, you now there are all sorts of other mods that can be done, but you know it's up to the customer as to how much they want to spend and how much they want to do. Um, what I did uh, here were um, really uh, crucial um, modifications. Um, to help protect various components within the amplifier. Um, so, you know, there are other things that can be done, but, you know, it just takes more time, which equals uh, more money. But things I did really uh, will protect the amplifier um, if you were to ever have another tube short. Um, also help uh, with parasitic, possible parasitic issues if you were to use the thing on two meters or the upper frequencies. Um, so I will flip it over and I will uh, show you what I did up there. All right. One of the uh, plate caps, like I said, was missing the set screw, which is right here. So I cannot find one like this at the hardware store. It's recessed, ends up being recessed into the cap. Um, I didn't want to use a standard screw and I couldn't, um, you know, it would end up, the head of the screw would stick out past the plate cap. So um, I ended up buying these little, here's this, an Allen set screw. So I bought two. I'll replace, I'm replacing both. So nice and clean. It's easier to tighten it too now of using a, a screwdriver, a little flathead screwdriver. So I'll shoot the top while I'm doing this video. Added the glitch resistor in here. Um, the negative rail diode to protect the plate current meter if there's a short. Reinstalled the plate choke bypass cap. Um, I'm going to leave these stock parasitic chokes um, I changed them in the, uh, in the 922 that I have uh, documented on my website, but um, I've done many and, and reused these stock ones. Like I said, um, before I did the strap mod, so I've yet to uh, encounter an issue, knock on wood, with a parasitic issue um, since I implemented that mod um, that I um, found online. So, I'm going to install the uh, plate choked anode connections and put the top cover, to put the covers back on and I'll fire it up and make sure it works. So, that's about it for now. Uh, some people put in soft start and all that stuff. Like I said, I can do anything. It just boils down to how much you want to spend. I mean, if it just starts adding up and adding up, you can end up having more into the amplifier than what you can go buy another one for. Some people want to put a lot of money and some people don't. So I did the the crucial mods. Um, and uh, you know, some people can go overboard. But these are nice amplifiers. I love these amps. So, okay. That's it for now. All okay. right, tubes are reinstalled. Yeah, I wanted to uh, point out that the uh, set screws are actually metric. Um, they're actually M4.7 pitch, requires two, number two, metric, Allen wrench. Okay, so, um, there are some other things you can do if you want. You can shorten the lead length, you know, the, uh, the inductance path between the plate blocker and the plate choke, and if you really want, you can rewind the, the parasitic chokes. Um, but, uh, just boils down to how crazy you want to go. Um, okay, I'm going to put the covers back on and try it out. <laughs> 